Hey, y'all. It has been a daggum minute, hasn't it? It's been a minute. I have not done this in a while. <laughs> I just want to say comment hashtag June because I am 1 million percent happy that it is June 1st, 2023. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Y'all, I just, I survived May. I did. I survived. I survived. Did y'all survive me? <laughs> I was thinking about it when I was in the grocery store. I do have a lot of groceries to show y'all. If y'all hang on just a second, but it was tough. It was tough. May was tough. So many words I could say. <laughs> the end of the year is crazy. I don't care if you got one kid, you got 14 kids, you don't have any kids. I don't know why, but it's insane. I have clients that are 70. I have clients that are 20. I'm all in between, and we all had a rough May. It was good. It was so many good things, but heavens to Betsy, the stuff. Hi, hi, y'all. Okay, whew, huh, just a little. <laughs> I survived. Hallelujah. Um, also, I have a little fun thing. I'm a certified health coach, people. Ah, I did it. What does certified health coach mean? Because I've had a lot of people ask me that. It means I took a class, and I passed it, and I learned what they taught, and so I have a certificate saying that I did it. <laughs> yeah, that's about all it means, but I did learn so much, and I can't wait to put it into practice with my, well, I have been, more, more into practice with my clients, but anyway, y'all know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to show y'all what I bought. I'm going to go do some stuff live in the kitchen. I'm going to go have my facial, and I'm going to go Relax the rest of the day. It's going to be wonderful, and I can't wait. And tomorrow morning, I'm going to work just a little bit, and I'm going to enjoy the day with my boys. And my girls come home tomorrow night. They're at youth camp right now. And um, and then, you know, church Sunday, live Q&A Sunday night, and it starts all over again. But next Thursday, I'm headed to the beach with Wes Gaskin to celebrate our 22nd wedding anniversary. And the beach is my favorite place, so I'm super thrilled about that. Okay, without further ado... I have some berries. So, if you don't know me very well, I do get a grocery delivery usually once a week toward the beginning of the week. It may be Sunday, it may be Monday, it may end up being Wednesday, and then I come on Thursday mornings to resupply and purchase things that I need to make my um, the, the meals and things, the recipes that I'm going to make live in the kitchen with my group coaching clients, okay? Because sometimes, you know, the things that they vote on, I might not have something, and so I had a little short list, and I ended up with all this stuff. So I will say I did splurge on some different drinks that I want to try um, and talk to you guys about, but it is what it is. Okay, so anyway, berries. I got some raspberries, and because the ones that I got at the beginning of the week are no longer. We have eaten all of them. And I got two two-pound containers of strawberries. They're gorgeous, and they smell delicious. And we just eat those. We just eat them. I am going to use some of these strawberries to make the Northern Nesters strawberry pretzel dessert that one of my clients made for Memorial Day, and she's a level one, so I look at her food every day, and she's eating it, and I just keep thinking about it, and I need, I'm going to make it, so I'm excited, <laughs> but I need those berries. Okay, this is one of the drinks that I splurged on. I normally do not buy this. They're 100% on, on plan. They're just a little pricier. Okay, but they're so good, and I love this flavor. And so I got me a little six-pack at the Walmart. P.S. I am at Walmart. There are a few things. I did go to a different store earlier, um, and I'll let y'all know about that in a second. Okay, I got another case of lime bubbly because lime is my favorite, and I like it. And so I got me some more. Let's see what else. What's in here? Oh, there's a lot of different things in here. Okay, these are some blueberries that I got. I got those blueberries. These are mushrooms because I'm going to make the Smarty Pants Stroganoff and Trim Healthy Cookbook today in group coaching. It is an easy recipe to me because I, I use ground meat in that. It's in Trim Healthy Cookbook. I don't know the page number. Sorry. 40 is not my thing. Anyway, you, I, cook the, I cook ground meat. It says you can use, like, steak strips or stuff like that. I like to cook up the ground venison that we have. I cook it up, and then I put it in the crock pot with all the other stuff, and I let it sit in the crock pot all day. Let the crock pot do the work. But anyway, you got to have mushrooms for that, and it's so great and delish. I'm also going to make quinoa ghost Cajun, also in Trim Healthy Cookbook, and I need a red bean, so red beans. I need an avocado. 
because I'm going to make the avocado bacon toss in Trim Healthy Cookbook. I don't know what page. Also, sorry, y'all can look that up. I'm giving you the real recipe numbers, though. I mean, no, recipe names. I am. And then I got some salsa, and you'll find out why. But I got some salsa. This is delicious. This is a company out of Louisiana, the Two Sisters Salsa Company. This is no sugar added salsa, and I really, really like it. My girls don't so much, but that's okay. They ain't here. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to have that uh, for something. I don't know when. But I have it for when I need it. It's going to be great. I like salsa. Okay. I will use that. What else? Oh, this is a bag of fun. So, um... Part of my health coaching, I've learned about herbs and things like that. And so, also, if you didn't know this, I, I had a pretty bad stomach bug a couple weeks ago. And my tummy still ain't quite right, so I'm working on her. I don't, um, I kindly ask you not to give me your 42,000 suggestions on what I can do. Because there's a lot of y'all, and that becomes very overwhelming to me. So, I'm just going to give a disclaimer. I, I got it. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> But this is a great tea if you're interested. It's a great detox tea. Um, I do have some telltale signs of some liver um, issues. And so I just am loving it and helping it out. And this lemon um, detox does have dandelion root. Dandelion root is known for many a thing, but definitely the liver. And that's something that I'm kind of working towards. But it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six or seven different herbs in it. And it's a great little tea. So because of my stomach bug, whole point of this conversation, coffee and I are not BFFs anymore. I just, it's just really difficult to drink, which ticks me off, to be honest. <laughs> but I have been doing some hot teas for my call it vehicle for my collagen um in my meals and stuff so anyway i got a different kind just to try and see if i like it i don't know we'll see i think it'll be great i also hope y'all aren't upset about what i just said i'm sorry i'm not trying to be ugly but it is overwhelming think about it think about it okay so i got some chopsticks okay this is something i've never tried they're on all of my lists for coaching of easy things everybody loves a chomps blah 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 well, my Walmart had like five or six new things. Normally, they just have the turkey, which Wes Gaskin said was gross, so I didn't even try it. But this is the venison. Nope, this is the venison one, and this is uh, a beef one. And they, oh, let me see what's that on these. Like I said, I don't even know them because I haven't looked. This would be S, the beef. They're both S. Okay, so there, there are six, six grams of fat. That's S. Sorry, just get over it. It's S. Okay, but um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one today. When Wes is home, so that if I don't like it, he can eat it. Or I guess I could put it in a zippy and it would be fine. Anyway, I'm going to try these today because I never have. And I need to try new things, and it's going to be fun. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably, I'm probably going to love it. Okay, I got some shorts in case y'all wanted to know. Uh, come some cute little shorts. And I got these. <laughs> They're kind of the colors of my logo. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, yay, got some shorts. Okay, let me bag all this back up. One moment. One moment, please. Oop. All right, what's in this little bag? Oh, yes, yeah, some blackberries. I got two of these little blackberries. I love berries, as you probably can figure out there. This is um, two cashew milks that way. When I did my order the other day, they didn't have any cashew milk. So I'm like, oh, let me get two for a rainy day. And I also got some Cool Brew. I love this. It's so good. Um, I love an iced coffee when it is hot outside. I mean, it totally makes sense. I can tolerate this fine. Yesterday, for my afternoon FP snacks, I like to do that, keep my day, you know, on the straight and narrow. Um, it just helps lighten the caloric load. Having a fuel pull in the afternoon makes perfect sense, if you think about it. Um, I dissolved some Vital Proteins collagen in a tiny little applesauce container with some warm water from my sink. Dissolved it well, put it in the bottom of a cup. I did two of these. When you do this, it fills it up. It's cute, cute. And I do two shots. Um, that truck almost hit the tail end of mine. Oh, mercy. Anyway, two of these shots. And then I did some ice and some water and some nut milk and some nut pods. And I made a long time ago a little syrup from, I don't even remember who that was. I'm so sorry. I don't remember. It was a, a THM caramel macchiato recipe. It was really, really yummy. But you make a little syrup, and I've kept it in the refrigerator, and I still have some, so I'll put some in there. Anyhow, it made a delicious iced coffee. It was amazing. Um, might post about it later to give y'all more info, and y'all can remake it, because I know I'm talking fast. Anyway, so good. 
and I was just fine. What else do I have? Let's see. Oh, gracious mercy. Okay, this is full fat milk. This is not recommended as on plan, but it's for my boys. Okay, so it's fine. Um, I have found a unicorn. I have not been able to find coconut oil spray to save my life in this in this town. Um, but it had, I, they had it today, so I was really happy about that. So I have coconut oil spray. I prefer to use this whenever I'm baking. I don't like using olive oil spray when I'm baking. And I am going to make some, I think it's maple pecan cookies with the Trim Healthy Mama cookie mix today live in group coaching. So I needed this. I was really happy to see it. And then I got two things of butter because I'm making them cookies. <laughs> and I need butter. <laughs> Seems like something else I'm going to make today needs butter. Oh, yeah, the strawberry pretzel dessert needs butter. Okay. I still have a few more things, so hang tight, friends. Hang tight. One of my clients just messaged me that I'm being feisty. I don't mean to be feisty. Mm, I'm just seeing me. <laughs> this is coconut milk. I don't use this. It's on plan. You totally can. Wes likes it in his coffee. And so I got him, too, because they didn't have this the other day, either. So we stocked up. This is beef, beef <laughs> broth. Um, beef broth, and I needed that for the stroganoff as well. That's what I needed that for. All right, so one of my boys made All-Stars, and last year, camp, uh, camp was on All-Stars the last two years. So I'm a little, like, I understand how this is going to work, okay? Um, and it is stupid hot in Mississippi, and so I'm starting to kind of stock up on electrolyte-type water, uh, for them. I mean, I'll probably use some too, but I, I mainly have them in mind. Um, and Walmart had this, and it's cute as pie. Um, so it is, it's the water, calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, potassium bicarbonate. There's no added sweeteners or anything. So this would be on plan. If you need an electric-like water, Walmart has, has some, and you could get that. And I don't remember how much it was. I'm so sorry. But you can go to your Walmart and see how much it is there at your store. Um, but anyway, I'm stocking up for that because when they're playing and it's very hot, they need those electrolytes because they're sweat, 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 sweating and playing really, really hard. Okay? So I just keep that ice cold for them. I also have some vitamin water zero, which does the same thing. It's just sweetened on plan and flavored. That's the orange. And this is the lemonade. And I like both of those. And those drinks really helped us when we had that stomach virus because I would dissolve collagen in those. And that's what I, that's how I stay fueled. Um, after the throwing up and stuff stopped. <laughs> um, I also got this. I love this flavor so much. This is kind of like a little, a little treat in addition to my, uh, two more I'm going to show you in a minute. And also <laughs> the, um, the buy that I got. I just love this flavor. It's so yummy. And I have seen this in gas stations. This was in, uh, Walmart today. And I, I bought this though at Corner Market. So we have a store called Corner Market and that's where the rest of these things came from. That's where this came from. And these are on plan corn chips. They are crossovers, but they are so, so good. Okay. They are fried in coconut oil. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, not coconut oil, palm, palm oil. Okay. Sorry, I said coconut oil. I didn't mean that. It was just kidding. All right. Two bags from Corner Market, and we are out of here, man. I got some cherries because they looked delicious. I did not even see cherries at Walmart. However, I wasn't looking for them. Anyway, love cherries. So good. That would be an E-fuel. But my kids love them, and I would love for them to eat them. I also got this cute bag of um, little peaches. I think they're peaches. No, they're ne nectarines. JK, nectarines. Y'all, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to anything I say. <laughs> anyway, they were all soft. and, and look. I mean, they're not super soft, but... Um, ready to go. Wes loves nectarines, and so I was thinking of him, and we'll enjoy those. He also an E-Fuel. need to pair that with Lean Protein Mama. And a ginormous avocado. I forgot that I got this. Oops, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> we'll leave it. And, girls, this is the last bag, and I will get off of your Facebook, okay? Um, so this is one of the drinks I got. This is a Zevia um sweetened tea and it is sweetened with stevia and so this is just a fun little drink that i'll just keep in my refrigerator for a fun day um that i would like to enjoy that and then this is one of my favorite um drinks that that i really like to enjoy uh just from time to time it's sweetened with monk fruit and stevia it's bragg's um so i'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see it 
Um, I don't buy these very often. They're very expensive. I think this is like five dollars. But I do. Um, it's two serving. It's two serving. <laughs> two servings up in this bottle. Um, and so that's what I do. So um, that's about the same amount as what a uh, vitamin water zero by itself costs. Anyway, it's water, grape juice, um, apple cider vinegar, apple juice, grape flavor, or uh, organic hibiscus flavor, hibiscus extract, monk fruit, and stevia. So, yes, it does have it does have sugars from the juice. I choose to. You can call this personal choice. You can call this off plan. You can do whatever you want. But I do like having the prebiotics that this offers along with the apple cider vinegar. I will usually do half of this with some ice water so it is very diluted. This is not something I have daily. I probably haven't had one of these in two or three months. So it's a once in a while thing for me. But it, I like it. And it does help whenever I'm having tummy issues. My tummy is still getting its act together from all the trauma drama that I had from that little virus. So anyway, that's why I got this, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, it has that <laughs> apple cider vinegar uh, to it, but it is great. It does have juice, disclaimer, so you do with it what you want, okay? Y'all are all grown women, and you can make your own decisions. Um, okay, so these two things kind of cracked me up, because when I make the strawberry pretzel dessert, I like to use dairy-free products, because it's a lot, and I end up pretty much eating the entire dessert in a week or so. Um, and if it's full dairy, my tummy does not like a lot of dairy. So I have some inflammation, bloating, um, that kind of thing. So I like to do half of these if I can't do the whole thing dairy free. So <laughs> this might kind of, um, make no sense to you people, but that's okay. So I have dairy, heavy whipping cream because my town does not have dairy free heavy whipping cream right now. It does not have it. Okay. If they did, I would use dairy-free heavy whipping cream. If you don't have a problem with dairy, do dairy. It's fine. But then I have dairy-free cream cheese, which is very expensive. So I'm taking one for uh, the team here and doing this. Not really. This is what I want to do. Um, and so it's kind of um, just lightening the dairy for me, and that's what I'm choosing to do. If you want to use plain old Greek, um, excuse me, cream cheese, you can't knock yourself out. Um, it doesn't matter. But that's what I'm choosing to do for the strawberry pretzel dessert. So... That's something that a lot of my clients that come into Buds, they're like, there's so many ways to do stuff, and there's so many ways to tweak things for you. I'm like, yes, yes, there are, and there are easy ways to do things, too. So this strawberry pretzel dessert, um, it calls for, it has pecans and butter and some sweetener for the base, and you bake that. Well, I'm going to use coconut oil and a little salt instead of the butter just to reduce the dairy for Amy. But but you, you, Sally Susie Q, may not give a care about dairy, and you can do all the dairy, and that's okay, and that's the beauty of THM. Um, so anyway, we have that, that's the crust, and then the the um, pudding part, or that cream cheese layer, whatever you want to call it, is the whipping cream and the cream cheese and some sweetener, maybe some vanilla, I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, you can Google it, THM, strawberry pretzel dessert, it will come right on up. It's from the Northern Nestor. Then there's a jello layer. I do not do the jello layer. That is extra for me. I could care less about having the jello layer. I just slice up strawberries and put that thing in the refrigerator and call it a day. <laughs> so anyway, I simplify things. It is got to be easy or I am not going to do it. So I just want to encourage you guys um, in that. And um, just a little side note, if you're looking for a fun group to join, I've collabed with another Trim Healthy Mama coach, Coach Canada. And she lives in Texas, one of my dear friends. And we are doing a group called Have an On Plan uh have an on-planned summer. It's for the month of June, but we are focusing on the fruit of the spirit of kindness. And we're going to be teaching on how to be kind to yourself, some self-care tips and things, kind to your blood sugar, kind to your gut, and kind to your muscles, which I love to talk about. So if y'all want to join that, um, it's $57 for the month of June, and it starts today. Um, we just have a little getting to know you post going on today. So um, you can click the link to my website, which is in this post, and it'll take you right to it if you want more information or if you would like to join. I love y'all so much. Have a magical day, and thanks so much for watching. And I'm just going to say, y'all see my shirt? Let me get it. It says, Holy Spirit, activate. Ha! <laughs> that cracks me up. One of my clients sent that to me. It's funny. Anyway, <laughs> bye, y'all. <laughs>